Aho. Thank you for joining me at Home Haven. This time of transition. The trees are changing. The world is changing. I'm changing. How about you? I want to address something here that uh, has been coming up kind of repeatedly on the blogs and conversations that I've been involved with online. And that's this issue of the necessity of psychic self-defense and having the discipline to know, well, when you could genuinely be attacking somebody and when you're not. There used to be a time, not so long ago, when you could think those bad thoughts towards somebody and you could think those, you know, kind of malicious things about somebody. That you could get away with it because you didn't have the juice really to back it up. You know, you didn't have the skills, you didn't have the juice, you know, you certainly didn't have the, vi the vindication to be able to follow through on it either. You know, I, I appreciate as much as you do, most times we're just beacon off, whether it's out loud or inside our head, we're just kind of beacon off. And we really don't mean much by it. The problem is, is that the universe doesn't have a measuring stick on it. And at one point, yes, absolutely, water for ducks back, it would never stick to anybody, it would never do any harm, okay? You just gotta check your attitude a little bit and all's good, okay? Well, it's never been okay. It's just now you got way more juice. Holy. Now, you had to have recognized that your power of manifestation has increased dramatically. You're able to just kind of get what you want way faster and way more specific than ever before. Keep that up, okay? Keep doing that. But please also gauge yourself. Show temperance when we're talking about that emotional outbursts and that's that stuff that you thought you could get away with before, temper tantrums, etc. You can't do that anymore. You're supposed to be kind of growed up. You're being given some amazing powers that you've been carrying with you in your subconscious for your whole life, but you've never had permission to use before. And, well, now you're getting permission to use it. Please use it wisely. Have the discipline, have the temperance to be able to gauge yourself to get whatever you want out of life. Whatever you want. That's the cool thing. You're going to get what you want. You're allowed to get, you're supposed to get what you want. But really, really, really pay attention to don't hurt anybody else along the way, okay? It's not about that. That'll hurt your journey and their journey, okay? What do you do when someone's kind of coming at you? Well, lots of people talk about bubbling up and mirrors and stuff like that. Well, it's been my teachings to my students, in my humble opinion, that when energy comes at you, be it positive and or negative, and or malicious and or etc., I don't actually bother or pay attention to the intention laid upon that energy. I just live my life in a manner that psychic self-defense is a full life presence. Anything coming at me, to me, around me, surrounding my being is being directed by my will. So even if an energetic comes at me from someplace else, before it even gets close to me physically, because the human aura is 30 feet big, before it even gets close to me physically, I've blessed it, I've transmuted it, and it's become something that is healthy and wholesome. Thanks, good or bad, yin or yang, the energy is energy, and if you're aware of that and you're able to work with it, you know, you're, you're pretty much home free. But it begins right now with a little bit of discipline. I love you. Just be careful with that new toy, all right? Someone can get hurt.